Hello, everyone. I hope everybody can hear me well. Uh, we were just waiting a little bit uh, because we were counting on uh, more people registered for this meeting today. But um, I think we can we can uh, start, and if they join, uh, perfect. And if not, we'll have an intimate uh, meeting today. So welcome, Anti, Francesco, Adrian, Lucien, Maite, Nadia. Uh, it's great to see you all. I hope uh, all of you are okay, are doing well. Um, and uh, well, uh, the idea today is uh, uh, for starters, uh, give you a general update on the progress of the redesign since the last uh, time we met. We have made uh, some progress and also uh, to specifically uh, discuss uh, this about this debate no, that we opened a few weeks ago in Metadecidim about this uh, hierarchy actions uh, levels no, that we have in the in the detailed views in, in the components of the CD. So before going through the agenda and explain you the dynamics of the meeting, just a quick note about the implementation calendar, because I, I guess that some of you are interested also in having this big picture about how are we going to deploy all this redesign. We were talking with the Populate team the other day, because until now we've been focusing mainly in working only uh, with the design, but now um, we are already thinking how uh, this is going to be implemented. And for that, let me uh, uh, attach you here at the discussion we opened in GitHub. I know some of you already so the discussion, but just for you to check it out, where uh, we are uh, already proposing some of the aspects that we need to uh, take into account. Uh, some of them are more uh, technical, but just to give you like the general message that our idea is to have like all the front end redesign implemented by the end of the year. And uh, we'll have some few, uh, a few more uh, months left until May 2023 to finish uh, the other tasks that, that, that we have to, to do no? regarding the redesign of the administration panel and the system panel and, and other things. So, uh, yeah, the, the technical people that want to chime in in this uh, discussion, you are welcome to, to join. And now, uh, yeah, I'm going to the to the agenda for today. So, uh, as usual, we are starting with a presentation from the um, redesign team, from the people from Populate, um, and we are going to see like an overview of all the progress we have done. Uh, we already show you like the first mockups regarding the home page and the home of a specific space in, in the CDM or the process uh, home page. But now uh, you will see uh, the, the first ideas, the first approaches of how might look the different components, no? uh, a few of them. Uh, and after this presentation, we'll, I don't know if, if it will be needed to split into different rooms because I think maybe maybe two, two different um, groups to discuss, especially this uh, issue that we have with the amount of actions that we may find at a certain moment when you visit a, a detailed view no, of a component. So we have prepared uh, a dynamic to discuss this. Uh, we'll explain later, but after this uh, um, work group, we'll uh, join again in this uh, room. Uh, we will exchange uh, these, these impressions, these reflections, and, and we will wrap it up. I think for today, that would be it. So, yeah, I'm going to invite Alvaro and Robert, if they want to join us. Thank you guys, by the way, for joining us. Hi everyone. To meet myself whenever you want. Thanks. Okay, I will share the screen.
Well, hi, hi everyone. I'm, I'm Robert, I'm a product designer at, at Populate. Okay, and today we are going to talk about the, the hierarchy of, of actions, but uh, we want to take advantage of the of the meeting to show you a bit of, of the design. So I'm going to do uh, the navigation to arrive at a proposal. And so we take a quick look at the home for the site, uh, at the home of a process and the list of, of proposals, okay? Uh, after the meeting, uh, we will give you access to the prototype in both desktop and, and mobile and mobile versions. Okay, so uh, let's go with the home, the site. Um, uh, this is still a work in progress. Okay, uh, so I'll scroll a bit uh, to show you the blocks, and, and we'll move to the to the process site. Okay, so we have a, a home with intro menu process list, okay. banner, activity module, another banner, okay, meetings module, and uh, the footer with, with all the all the navigation, okay. Uh, as I said before, uh, this uh, will, uh, we will discuss this in, in future meetings, okay. Uh, next step, uh, process home, okay. So uh, we are going to use uh, the different models that exist uh, and, and play with them, just as we do in the process in the process groups. Okay, uh, it's also a work in progress. So so uh, we'll we'll take a, a quick view of the page with with the different with different models. Okay, with the intro local menu regarding the 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 process. Okay, the, the metadata, uh, proposal module, the banner, activity module, another banner, okay, meeting module only for this process, okay, with the scope of the of the process, and the blog with the, the, the different publications, and again, the, the footer, okay. So we will, we will see this in, in next meetings. Uh, next step, proposal list. Okay, from here uh, we can open any any proposal and see and see the the content. Okay, so let's go let's go to do it. I open this first. Okay, and we have the proposal as you see is a, a drawer that opened uh, uh, over over the content. So we can navigate through the proposals um, without leave the context of the of the list. Okay. So we open the, the proposal and we have here the 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 actions that that we will discuss in a in a few minutes. Okay. So here we have three different levels of, of actions. Okay. The main action, okay. Uh, the mission to be carried out uh, that will be located here on the on the right side, and maintaining a fixed pos uh, position to to allow the user to to always have it in in front of it, in front of him. Okay. We have the second level that uh, actions that allows you to perform an action that that has a public impact. Okay, uh, comment, uh, give like, uh, and these actions will be placed below the the content, the main content. Okay, and the third level in this proposal are here at the bottom. Okay, in a fixed way as as the main as the main action. Okay, and this this third level are actions that allow the user to carry out a private tasks uh, such as sharing reporting okay and follow follow the uh, the notifications the, the updated content of this of this proposal okay uh, we have a fourth level that uh, this is in, in this is not in in this proposal is in the next proposal okay and is this top level that you can see and it's the level 
and that uh, where we have the actions to 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 admin the the content okay so edit or or delete delete the the proposal and access to the admin panel okay indeed this bar uh, we can only only see if we are we are admin or we are logged as as an author of the of the content okay and this is all from from our site okay as i said before uh, we will share the prototypes and and wait for your feedback in in meta decision okay so you can can see all the prototypes with calm and and annotate all the feedback that you that you want thank you Sorry, I'm coming back. Sorry, <laughs> my laptop <laughs> is unusually slow today. Uh, okay, thank you so much, Robert, for the presentation. Uh, let's wait. I am already seeing some positive feedback in the chat. Uh, I'm happy that you guys uh, like the, because I think the, the popular team are doing a, a really a great job uh, with this redesign. But Let's focus on the conversation uh, we have today because really we don't have uh, any consensus, I would say, in the product team regarding all these actions about the endorsements and how you know, the supports and how they, they can be combined or if they should be at all. This is uh, the conversation that we are going to have. So uh, because of the number, ah, suddenly we are, I don't know, 14. Yeah, we're going to split in two groups. Uh, this is going to be automatically uh, directed. And so we'll see you there and we'll explain you there the, the dynamic we have prepared to, to discuss this, this thing, no? Yeah. So let's wait for some magic from Big Blue Button and see you in around 14 minutes. So, okay, I think we are already here, no, together? Um, okay, uh, as usual, we didn't have like enough time to go to all the planned uh, dynamics we had, but I think uh, we, uh, and at least in our group, we were able to, to finish the first exercise on, on thinking about this hierarchy of actions. And we uh, just um, just um, had this conversation about the like button related to the endorsement and how they can be combined with the supports. So um, in order just to share the conversation, because we are not that much people today, if you want to um, spontaneously turn on your camera, I mean, uh, I, would, I would start with the first group. If someone from the first group uh, wants to turn on the camera and just to give a little bit of feedback on how or, or what we discussed, maybe I can share. Let me see. Ah, I don't have the option, uh, I think, about sharing the my screen. It's possible that I don't have the option. Okay. Let me share the mural. One second. Okay. Okay, I think now. Ah, no, it tells me permission to capture the screen needs to be granted. That. I am not allowed to share my screen. No. Uh, permission to capture the screen needs to be granted. 
uh, maybe maybe it's my browser. I'm sorry. Okay, so if someone, Neil or Nuria or someone from the product team can share the mural uh, app in the, the screen. Okay, thanks, Nuria. Just to see the result, because we, uh, to me, it was quite surprising this exercise about hearing your, your feedback on how you would prioritize the different levels of uh, actions. Okay, great. So we are seeing here uh, our group. It was quite clear that uh, comments are like the primary action, maybe because of the use cases that we had. We had uh, Nadia uh, who works more in the cultural heritage projects, but we also had Anti and Warda. They work more with municipalities, but still, uh, for them, uh, it was it was like very clear that comments are like a primary uh, action, no, to to consider. And then uh, Nuria, uh, that also has experience with the city here in Catalonia, uh, they. Uh, they usually use this support action uh, a lot more than the than the rest of the group. So that that was interesting to to know about. And then uh, we discuss about this share and follow actions that are somewhat related to each other, regarding to be connected to some activity that you had in the CDM. These are actions that allow you to keep connected, no? to keep in the loop. So that would be in the second level. And we, uh, it seems that we uh, haven't agreed uh, where we would, uh, sorry, where would we put the endorsement action? Uh, my feeling was that it would be somewhere between the two and the third level. But if someone from the group, Anti or uh, Nadia or Warda want to, Add something about this. If you want to add input, if not, I can just uh, link it to the questions that we that we uh, proposed about rethinking this endorsement slash support slash like feature. And in our group, at least, uh, it was a uh, consensus that the idea of having a like action transversal across the platform, that would be interesting uh, for most of the people. But that should be, of course, uh, configurable. And let me just take my notes because I have it here. Um, ah, yeah, and this is also uh, two mm, interesting insights. Nuria mentioned that it would be interesting that, for example, if we have a like action, you would see primarily the avatars of the people that you follow in the first place, like in a way mm, that that should work uh, this way, no, as an engagement uh, mechanism. And also uh, both uh, Warda and Anti mentioned the possibility, it's another feature, but it's related to uh, the possibility to choose if you want to show your profile when you uh, like something, for example, in the platform, no? And it's related to this anonymization uh, of your public profile. That would be the, the insights that we gather from this, this discussion. So, ah, okay, Neil is having technical problems, but maybe Andres can, can join from the second group or anybody else if you want to join uh, and give us some feedback about your group. I'm sorry, today is the day of having technical problems. Yeah, yeah, the, I'm here, sorry. Okay, I'm not enabling. Thanks and also sharing the webcam. So in our group, we, we actually had like lots of doubt also regarding the, the hierarchy. Um, I think the final consensus, uh, I don't know if it's visible. Yeah, it's visible. So the final consensus that we have, it's, it's like something that an endorsement uh, has like a 
really need use regarding that, like, mm, we will, uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> like newcomers to the platform couldn't differentiate uh, the, the different actions between endorsements and supports. They are like really similar and it's like um, difficult to understand in a first look. Uh, so we actually thought about yeah putting it in, in the in the same level or maybe that it could change regarding the, the configuration that the, the component has in, in a given time. You know? For instance, if, if support is enabled, then we can show it. Um, then if it, oh, it's only endorsements is enabled, we show that. But then if supports and endorsements are both enabled, we, we could make some kind of funnel, like for instance, you support, and then you see like, I don't know, a model or a checkbox. Yeah, yeah I want to uh, publicly uh, say that I support this, and you could also be in a way to like share in other platforms or whatever, you know, like some kind of mini funnel regarding the, the, the engagement of the participants in, in this feature. Um, the, the other actions, we didn't have much problem. What we've seen is like after that, you have like sharing and commenting and finally like advanced uh, features, uh, following and reporting. And that wasn't uh, like a big thing. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, also regarding like like we we were talking about supports, but we also mentioned that uh, depending on the component, this would change, or even in, in proposals. Like for instance, if you are in, in in an emendation configuration, then you should see like the amend uh, button, or like if you are in a meeting, then you should see like the uh, resistor to this meeting, if it's enabled, and so on. Uh, but, great. I know if, if the rest want to comment something, I, I I think I copy most of the notes because like <laughs> the people have gotten uh, close to the chat, but I have it like in here. Mm -hmm. But did, did you have a chance, Andres, to go to the through the questions that we have uh, proposed around this discussion of the like action transversal? To the platform. I like, uh, I, I don't know if we have like an agreement. Um, at least we 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 discussed a lot on on the first uh, question of the uh, hierarchy, but then regarding the the like and pub and follow, at, at least I, I I didn't catch that we had any like strong consensus there. Um, I think that maybe like like as I don't know I don't know if the the rest of the group someone wants to to chime in please. <laughs> yeah, it would be great, uh, guys, because we are not that much people today. If anyone yeah. wants to join us and me? just share your thoughts. No, no, yes, we we were also like uh, discussing about these two options no? or these two buttons, the, the FAP and the like button. And I'm not sure if, if it was an agreement or not, but but maybe finally a, a little consensus that we have is maybe that we can just put together these two uses, the FAP button with the like action in a, in a same button. And that this could be maybe a, a, a good way to, to solve that um the discussion and yeah and we were also uh talking about the um, the discussion of um of if, if users can uh support without reading a proposal or not uh maite for example said that um that the most uh liberty uh, the better and and yeah, she she was arguing that maybe to to force people or admins to or users to to follow that uh, path could.
could not be like the best idea because maybe in abstract we, we would prefer a more um like like that people read a lot all the proposals but but this is not going to happen um and maybe yes uh, this is like our our discussion but but if the other members of the group wants to to add something Mm -hmm. But did you agree that the solution we found about this drawer of proposals that let you scan quickly the proposals and at the same time check it out the detail and perform any action? Did you share any feedback with your group about this? Because we, in our group, we didn't have the time to to comment on that. Yes, I think that Lucien uh, said that that uh, he likes uh, a lot this this drawer solution. Uh, um, but yes, but but we didn't have because because we are running out of time. I think that we just have five minutes to discuss that topic. <laughs> so so we don't have a lot of uh, insights on this. Yes, Pauline. Yours is yours. If you want to turn on your camera, so we can. Oh, okay. Well, um, I'm not sure you see me now. Uh, thank you, Andres and Neil. I, I just wanted to to add something about the um, the the last question about navigation. That um, a question that Maite raised that I I thought was really true and confused me a lot uh, because like navigating into pro pro proposal is a huge enhancement and I really like it. But um, we may iterate that um, maybe we shouldn't force users to open proposals uh, as we don't uh, have the same time or same level of attention when we're on platform and we shouldn't stop uh, users to do an action because they they just like uh, liked the title or the rest of the abstract of a proposal, and we shouldn't force them to to enter the proposal and to read it all. Um, and at the same time, and I, I quite agree that like, we want people to read uh, the more they can and to to uh, make an opinion about that. So it's not a consensus at all. But I wanted to raise Maite, Maite's opinion because I, I quite agree with her. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Pauline. Yeah, I think we have, I mean, I'm not sure I'm, I haven't spoken with all of you, but the way the thing works right now, it's indeed this way. I mean, right now uh, you are able to support a proposal from the CATS view or uh, vote on budgets from the list no you don't you are not forced to go into the detail to perform the action uh, i think we need to find or maybe the compromise should be this one like you are not forcing by code to go to the detail but you are encouraging or you are uh, uh, facilitating a way to combine the, the the both of the best of both worlds no scanning quickly and performing actions uh, and well, I mean, I am seeing from the feedback that I am reading in the chat that we are uh, quite happy with the solution presented by Robert um, in this regard, with the drawer and so on. We are not planning to force in this action, not being able to do it from from the navigation, but uh, we'll see how. How it states, uh, how is it stays finally? No? Okay, um, I feel I'm I'm talking a lot today, so <laughs> I don't know if anybody else wants to share something that we didn't touch on this topic uh, of today. Uh, just to wrap it up, and then I I will shut up. I promise. Uh, for in our group, it was. Um, quite clear that the endorsement and support shouldn't be activated at the same time. And just to remark this action. And uh, also that endorsements are being used a way more, way more, at least uh, outside of Catalonia than support. Yeah, Lucien, go ahead. Yeah, uh, thanks, Carol. Uh, I was... Uh 
just uh, uh, finding your, your proposal really relevant to uh, encourage to read a proposal before actually supporting it as a user, but at the same time to en encourage to access and browse content easily uh, uh, to compare proposals. And I was thinking we could use the same design pattern as basically when you have to read the terms and conditions, uh, but in a better way, of course. <laughs> uh, once the user clicks on support, then he has to actually read the whole proposal before activating the support or something in, in you know, in this, uh, th this kind of interaction could be a nice way to use it. So yeah. Thought. Yeah, like, for example, the scrolling, no, you mean that you usually need to do to accept the... Yeah, exactly. Anyone else wants to? I see that Mike is, is saying no, that uh, the simpler the better. I agree. In fact, I think the exercise we are trying to do is just to uh, have a much lighter interface with only the relevant actions uh, for a given moment. So we are uh, for sure um, going through this direction. Anybody else? Yeah, I mean. uh, uh, so I just had a question because um, the two groups, I think, made uh, different hierarchization of actions mm. um, yeah, regarding comments. Uh, and I like what you did in the first group because indeed commenting is quite engaging as you also put your name, uh, your username, but your name on the platform as for for endorsements. So I, I don't know uh, if we can, if we could find a consensus or explain uh, why they are different, because if we don't agree about the accusations, it's quite, uh, quite a problem or just depending on the uses of the proposal components which can be uh, really, really different uh, between organizations. Yeah, I agree. I mean, my feeling is that the difference, uh, when we uh, thought about this exercise, we were thinking these levels much more in terms of interface, like where would you, uh, I mean, of course, uh, the first question, what it's, it's more related to how do you group the different actions? in terms of importance, but at least for me, I was like, for, for example, for me, it was super clear that the support would be in the first level because as we saw in the mock-up that uh, Robert shared, they have like a special uh, position no? in the interface. It needs to be very clear that you are expected to perform some action at some moments, of course, if, if they are not enabled. Not. But for example, at the same time, I agree that comments are mm, really important actions regarding participation. So maybe uh, the difference comes more uh, with this kind of uh, mm, no, the, the how do you say it? the how we were thought uh, how we thought this this exercise that is I mean that is like the conceptual importance and the interface importance. Yes, I, I don't know that much about uh, this matter. I think the. Uh, Lucien, uh, Lucien was uh, 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 good advice on uh, on interface. So if you want to to come in again, or uh, yeah, sure. But I'm totally sorry. I was busy writing my comments, so I didn't follow what you were saying. <laughs> uh, you were referring to to what point, Pauline? Uh, the fact that um, we made different the accusation, uh, I think, in the groups and uh, between the two groups. Um, and uh, Carol thinks that um, is because we are talking about conceptual the accusation and then interface conf uh, uh, 
uh, interface the accusation. And in my, like uh, what, what I said uh, when I, I said it, for me, it was uh, conceptual. And uh, I'm not sure because I, I don't think I have like, the uh, legit legitimacy for interface. So I was referring to you and what you said. Uh, uh, thanks. <laughs> I don't know if I can help, but um, one thing I was uh, that's coming to, to, to thought is that in product design, usually we think of the user as a cycle from uh, like user adoption, uh, first engagement, then adoption, then retention to keep users within the platforms. So I'm, I'm not saying we should promote this kind of extractivist uh, UX for the CDM, but still uh, there's a consideration along these lines. Uh, we need to f facilitate um, interactions, like easy interactions on the platforms. And indeed uh, what you're saying, Pauline, before uh, concerning comments, I mean, social interaction within comments is one of the best way to engage, create engagement. So, I don't know if that makes sense, um, but yeah, that's what I was thinking about. Engagement, adoption, and retention. Thanks, Lucien. Okay, uh, we're making sure that we will save these notes in the chat because I'm seeing these comments from Lucien just to give him a little bit more feedback about uh, what he mentioned. Anyone else wants to discuss about this thing or the, the other aspect? I, I'm afraid that we uh, haven't achieved, and maybe that's a natural thing, no? We haven't achieved, achieved like a clear consensus of we need the like, we need to ditch the endorsement or uh, the support shouldn't be combined with the endorsements. They are like... There are different approaches. Uh, we'll we'll discuss them uh, with the product and the redesign team a little bit more, and maybe uh, we can also continue the debate in in Meta Decidim about this. But uh, I think this this uh, this comment from Mike, you know, the simpler the better, and trying to reduce this cognitive load from for the participant having to scan all the actions would be would be great. Yeah, my turn. Um, I'm not sure if you're talking. Yeah, yeah. sorry, I was activating the, the camera. About this uh, simplification, uh, just to, to detail a little further, I understand that the CDM has a lot of things ca that can be configured, so the implementation is very sophisticated, and I understand that in some cases you need to be able to count things and in others no or make it public or not uh, so from the product point of view i understand that you need to make a lot of differences of the usage of every information but i think it's very important that from the user perspective this is kind of transparent i will say like you have a few buttons and depending on the context and the situation, you should be able to translate that into the implementation or the configuration that you have uh, on the back side. No? I, I will say, so I understand it's very complex and you want to keep all the, all the functionality that the CDM has because it's very rich, but I think there is this need of making the effort of making it so simple that uh, different uh, technicalities go into a single button. Um, I think that that will make it easier for the user that at least the ones that are not very familiar with the with the environment. Or I mean, I've been using MetaDecidim not very often, but from some time now, and I am still confused sometimes. So wow, wow, that's. <laughs> no, no, I mean, it's not, I, I understand it's so rich that you want to, 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 to have the user with all the power and everything, but sometimes as a user, that's too yeah, much. It's overwhelming. You feel it many things not to pay attention to. Yeah, yeah I, I agree very much with all you said. And for me, ah, okay, Adrian maybe wants to join us. 
Just, just uh, to complete the, the intervention of Maite, because uh, when, we, when you were talking, I was thinking about the possibility of, I mean, for sure, we need to uh, better explain to admins good uses of the con good configurations of the platform, because I, I don't think if there is a best way just to limit like these are combinations that go together and this is forced by code you you know what i mean so maybe one of the solutions go through better explaining the possibilities and the best uses no of the this kind of configurations i was just uh, thinking out loud about this how to solve it from the back end uh, adding go ahead yeah thanks so first of all, uh, thank you for opening the space. That's great. Um, I just would like to share my difficulties to just prioritize the actions. And there's something you, you said before that uh, I think is really good is um, to be, to have less action, we need to stay, to stick with relevant actions. And uh, to me, it's not clear uh, why some actions needs to be there, what are the purpose of these actions. And I am a bit afraid that we keep the old actions because they were there and not because they have a real purpose. And um, for example, for the like button, I am asking myself, why do we need a like button that accounting is public? Is it to, to, to influence other people on the platform to also like, uh, do we really uh, need this? And what I would, would need to be able to prioritize, prioritize better is actually every action uh, characterize why is it relevant uh, inside the decision platform? And, uh, why do we need a follow button? And why do we need a like one? And, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's my, that's my yeah, question. Very uh, on point, Adrian. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I agree. I mean, we are also, uh, uh, how do we say it, leading? Uh, no. Uh, how, how do you say Lidiar? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm a bit blocked with my English today. Uh, no, we need to play with the legacy. You know what I mean? Like, we designed uh, all these actions from the beginning, and now there are organic uses that are happening in the platform. So this makes the rethinking harder that if we were starting from a blank space, no? But, for example, in the case of the like button, I think the reasoning, at least inside of the product team, was like, okay, we have this endorsement action that is being used, but it has like naturally uh, turning on this like uh, de facto action because nobody really understands what endorse something means in the context of the process that are going on. So um, admins, thanks to this model of the self customizer, admins are just uh, changing the, the translations or the naming of the action. And, and this is why we open this uh, debate about, ah, how about having this like action, more lighter action uh, through the, across the platform? Also because we are seeing this kind of dynamics in these apps that we all use every day, like these reactions that, for example, in Telegram, they enable them uh, or, I don't know, different, no? different platforms. But I think it's very important, your reflection about thinking, do we really need this? And are, we, are people really using it? Uh, that would be the key question no? to ask ourselves. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, I think the okay, question is about... Yeah, thanks, Maite. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. thanks. Anybody wants to add something? Yeah, hi. Thanks, I just Maite. wanted to... I just wanted to answer like Pauline's question about the hierarchy why we put comments on the top because it was me who put it on the top. So uh, to us, that's like the only only interaction that people are really doing on the on the platform. They're not using supports. They're not using endorsements. Nothing, and they're not even following anything. They just 
want to comment on things and there's also this other side with that action is that when you want to put people together to work on their proposals and make them better uh, that's uh, in that sense i think also comment commenting is pretty important and maybe a third point from these uh, latest comments is that uh, generally pe people know how to comment that's pretty easy to do you don't have to wrap your mind around what, what is endorsement what is a support you just comment and that's pretty easy to do so that's that's why mm -hmm. i also think that it should be really primary action yeah uh, very well uh, explained Antti, and and it makes total sense no just also to encourage this collective participation or this conversation even when we talk about participation yeah my turn. Uh, about this last uh, comment on on commenting i was curious when people comment um is there a need of saying, yeah, I do agree or not, I don't agree? Because in the debate part, you have this thing that you can tell before writing down something, you can tell if you agree or, or you don't agree. Do you think is this uh, useful? I mean, because we are not having the, the automatic processing of the, of the comments of people. So having this uh, information beforehand saying, yeah, I do agree, and then I give you my opinion. Or I think that's um, well specified, but I can improve this. Or I mean, this general idea of, of uh, a comment but being in favor or a comment but not agreeing with that, do you think is, is it useful? This Just is asking. a question for everybody. <laughs> I have my opinion, but yeah, I would love to hear uh, Pauline. Okay. I don't know if you hear me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, on our side, uh, on the platform we use when we enable comments, uh, or the clients enable comments on different municipalities, um, these features to uh, approve or disapprove a proposal is really welcomed and used. And uh, I, I, I think I, I quite like it like, uh, in the comments uh, component, uh, but I think it adds a new way uh, to, to say uh, if you agree or not. So when you have comments and uh, endorsements or votes, maybe you can also uh, find it confusing to have two places to say you agree. Uh, but I, I think we should keep it, but maybe find a way to, uh, or maybe as Andres said, like um, exclude uh, some, some of those uh, engagements uh, between them, like uh, if I enable comments, I can enable this, or uh, uh, there is uh, there are funnels uh, like uh, like uh, Adrian proposed. I, I really like the idea, um, but I think yeah, it's quite confusing for the administrators when they first arrive on the platform and say like, uh, what's the difference? And uh, if they can't understand it, then they can enable all kinds of uh, participating uh, buttons or call to actions, and then users are really lost. So maybe we also have to think about uh, the, the, the explanations of the features and the way they are displayed in the, the components configuration. But I don't know for the others about the uh, comments approval or disapproval. Yeah, what the rest of you think about this? Adrian? Um, yeah, uh, to me it's a bit, uh, it's a bit difficult to say, okay, uh, a comment it's a command that I approve, an approval command, or it's a, a command on the other side, because most, most of the time we don't agree fully with what is written, right? Uh, and uh, 
So, so to me, it's kind of a bias that we put like, yeah, it's a positive comment or a negative comment. And I'm wondering what is actually the, the ad that it would have. And to me, it's just an action, an unnecessary action that the user need to do because it's text and most of the time it's, it's not a good or bad, but it's something in the middle. And um, to me, this feature is, uh, is not so useful. But that's my perspective. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this binary classification maybe is not, uh, we, we could play no, with a more nuanced um, yeah, collection of options uh, when we want to, if we want to position our opinion regarding some topic. But I mean, this this is a really good that is happening this conversation because uh, we are uh, also thinking from the blue, from the blue team when where while we are in the middle of this redesign process, we just found out that, for example, the debate component it doesn't have really like that much different from the proposals component and we were thinking about this deliberation aspect that the comments themselves uh, bring to the to the platform no and comments are transversal uh, across the different uh, components or elements so that would be a future topic to discuss uh, with all of you we are planning somewhere before the summer having a um, like more a uh, seminar with some experts uh, with uh, regarding the liberation, just to um, explore this this issue with the deliberation options and if they should be present only for debates or across the platform, for example, in this case in proposals, what should be uh, the most useful uh, approach no, regarding this specific issue with deliberation. But um, it's interesting, really, to to give it a thought. I'm seeing uh, Lucien is writing, but I'm not sure if anyone wants to mention something about this, about the comments and being uh, against, in favor. Uh, no, I was just thinking about deliberation. What you just said, it's it's really awesome to to question this, and uh, I believe it would be interesting to have a, a return of experience or uh, an input from uh, Kialo, which is uh, <laughs> unfortunately not based, not open source, but uh, yeah, really... we've been looking into Kialo and also consider it. I don't know if you are familiar with this kind of platforms, but yeah, we for sure have some interesting uh, features, no? Mm -hmm. That's all. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. And just to give a, a, a bit more information regarding at least the initial hypothesis that we had while, while we were developing the first version of the Slim with the against and in favor of, of a given proposal. It, it was mostly about, yeah, we, we were exploring, like changing how the comments are are, are displayed. Um, at, at least initially, I, I had the idea of implementing something like your, your priorities, you know, like where you have two columns, one is the comments in favor and the other one comments against. And so the idea of, this it was mostly about that that we, we 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 thought about implementing something like that but then we didn't do it so we we only have like this um check button checks uh, yeah check input checks and and you don't have like the the other part of this visualization that it's like seeing like the comments in favor and in against in a like separate way at least so, so you can like see the different um arguments in favor and against uh, of your proposal but but yeah i agree what you guys mentioned of maybe exploring other kind of visualizations um like consider it and so on uh what i'm afraid of is is that these kind of visualizations are like really difficult to understand for a newcomer 
and and I'm afraid that if we, I don't know that it could be like really 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 difficult to yeah to understand. Yeah, for sure. Uh, the case of Kialo um, is uh, quite complex, no? Visualizations very rich, but complex at the same time. Yeah, I just wanted to add to this this uh, debate conversation that we have been. Some some cities have been asking us about this kind of like uh, more like a consultations feature that okay, this is this is like a good proposal or this is a bad bad proposal and not not necessarily like even even a comment about it. It's just that I support this or I don't support this, and then then showing the numbers numbers in that. Uh, but I also understand that in some contexts it's it's uh, really important to justify your opinion, but not not in all. This is actually like open the, the Pandora box, <laughs> like like for the final fifty minutes, <laughs> like like we 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 were like. Yeah, we, we were discussing now about the fat button and the like button and the follow and the supports and so on. But but that we we actually had uh, it was now that it isn't here today <laughs> that he, he was like um, pro proposing the idea of the reaction thing that we 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 are starting to see in more and more platforms uh, on this reaction. Uh, dynamic for instance in facebook no you uh, usually you only uh, could leave like the like button but now you have like the like and the heart and i don't know different different kind of icons and and you 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 have that also in telegram you, you can you can leave a reaction for a given comment and i don't know maybe WhatsApp in the near future would have this, I think, because we are seeing like uh, different, uh, platforms or uh, yeah, commenting systems uh, are starting to implement this, and yeah, that this can be like other <laughs> other way of engaging. And I don't know if maybe we could like group different of these APIs and like. In, enable in in a only one UI, you know, because I don't like what, what what I don't like about these debates. Uh, it's like all the maintenance problem that could have on like adding a new API and having to support the old API, and then mm. it's a big issue. But I don't know. This is like my. Uh, Paranoia as one of the main Yeah, yeah. Uh, one just to try to center because we are turning to the deliberation, and I would like to keep uh, centering the in this aspect, and we'll open a new debate uh, regarding deliberation. Um, one of the comments also we shared in product was the possibility that this like or endorsement action uh, could serve as a bottom up dynamic um, from the participants to um, the authority, whatever it is, no? Because, for example, supports are always enabled from the, um, from the administration panel, of course, endorsements uh, as well, but well, we were thinking out loud if this kind of reactions uh, feature could serve more as a um, as a pressure action from the participants that reflect like a will, a, a specific will on on something, or a specific uh, feeling on something, and if it could be, if this could be, uh, I don't know, as a yeah. A lobby action or something like that but if i'm being honest i don't really uh, believe <laughs> that uh, i mean always uh, any instance of the cdm will be mediated by some administrators so we cannot be that naive also no to think that we'll have like a bottom-up mechanism that nobody uh, can stop because it's not real that is that simple no but well, I would I would also think about it, no? Like a possibility to 
to a future use of this uh, like or reaction feature. Okay, I'm seeing in the chat that we are turning to the debates, features or the deliberation. So <laughs> I think for today we have finished uh, talking about this hierarchy of actions. Uh, for sure is one of the pain points that we need to solve and we need to make some starting making some decisions uh, regarding this. So um, I would say that we'll keep you posted about the, the different approaches that we are having. If we have consensus on product, we'll let you know uh, which is the, the best one to do. For sure, it will be a solution that it will be compatible with the with the different configurations that we already have in the in the platform. Okay. So if no one else wants to add anything uh, regarding this, I would uh, I would wrap it up. Yes, I, I just would say that if everybody can turn on their cameras and we can just take a picture to document that meeting. <laughs> yeah, please. So. What a gang, <laughs> a great gang. I see that there's, uh, it is Aram here, but he's uh, connected as a listener. So maybe you don't have access to the camera. Who takes a picture? I, I already take it. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> so, no, I, I was waiting if, if more people turn but on. You need to let us know but... just to smile and put the. <laughs> okay, okay. I make a, a countdown. Wait uh, a second. Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> Yo. Cheers. <laughs> thank you. So thank you everybody for, for coming uh, to this meeting. Uh, we'll, we'll let you know for the next one. As I said, we are planning to have this more uh, lab format uh, in early June, uh, but we'll let you know in the, in the next newsletters. Okay, and we continue the conversation also in MetaDecision, of course. Okay. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. See you later. Bye. Thank you all. Bye. 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 Thank you.